and away we go. All right, I'm going to rehouse my iMira sling, which I believe common name is Bluefoot Baboon. I picked one of these up, I want to say from Ked the Bug Guy, um, on sale last year. Actually, it might have been earlier this year. I can't remember, probably maybe January or so. Um, just to tr kind of try it out. Usually when I buy species, I buy three because I'm trying to increase my chance of getting a female. But these guys are rather pricey, and he had a good deal on it, and he only had one left. So I picked up the one he had left. Um, it is a fossorial species. It does dig. This one had a nice little home dug. This is also a baboon species, so very it's, it's going to be very careful. I'm going to be very careful. They do like it dry. I will when I notice it in pre molt moisten down a corner because I am keeping it in one of Jamie's enclosures. And I have a hard time fitting water dishes in these, and they usually get buried up pretty quick. So uh, what I'll do is when it hits pre molt I'll soften up a corner opposite of it. And let's see if we can get this guy out of here without him freaking out. There we go. Around what temperature would you keep it during the winter, Dad? It goes same as all my guys. Oh, oh, oh. Usually in the winter, it's about this guy's kept in the, in the hot corner, so it usually gets about 72 degrees or so. All right, get a good shot of the little dude. I'm going to use this bottle to get him in. You got him? Mm -hmm. Fortunately, his feet aren't blue yet, but he's just starting to get his adult coloration. I got a little shot of him over here. Fortunately, he's trying to. He's right there. Actually, you can see his feet. Yeah, he's, he's getting a little bit of coloration. Love the look at these guys. Oh, um, if this doesn't boys. turn out to be a female, I'm definitely going to get more of these. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Take over this. Hands away from it. Gotta focus. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to use the uh, old standby here. It's actually a good shot of him. Her. I'm hoping it's a her. Yeah. Her. Gorgeous. We're both her. hoping it's a girl. Wow. Very beautiful species. Alright. I'd be able to get the pill, but the pill bottle would definitely be easier. Alright, perfect. So you want to fit the spader out most of the time? Yeah. A uh, little piece of cardboard. Mm hmm. This is nice and flat. There we go, that's kind of easy. Perfect. Done. Back up. Come from over here. There's the H mirror, uh, I mirror, excuse me. Not H mirror, I mirror. Beautiful little baboon species. It's got to be a little bit pricey. I think I've seen slings about this size. They're like 70 to 80 bucks. Uh, sometimes you can find them on sale, which is great. Beautiful species. Again, keep it dry. It's going to have a water dish in here. I haven't put it in yet. It's around here somewhere. <clears throat> but one of the things I'm doing is getting everybody ready for winter time because my furnace kicks on. It gets very, very dry in my tarantula room. I will run a humidifier. But for my slings, I like to make sure that they have a little extra um, humidity in there so everybody's going to get a water dish before winter starts, which is why I'm doing so many rehousings of my slings. Um, again, I like Jamie's enclosures for the little teeny tiny slings, but once I get a certain size, I like to rehouse them so I can stick in a water dish. Great little species. Um, as Sid was pointing out, during the wintertime, it will be about 72 to 76 degrees. I do have a heater in the room. Summertime, it goes eh, about 74, 75 around there, sometimes 76 to 80. Rarely does it get over 80 degrees. Most of the time it's high 70s. Um, this thing's molted, I believe, twice in my care now, maybe three times. Um, medium to fast grower. Again, I don't keep them as hot as some people keep them, so that could be some, uh, something to do with it. Obviously, hotter temperatures lead to faster metabolisms and faster growth rates. But uh, he's doing quite well. Great eater. Um, really awesome little spider. I can't wait till these guys get there because they really are striking with their little blue feet. Um, this container is a 32 ounce deli cup. I noticed there is tons of substrate. I did put a little moist on the bottom to give it a gradient, but it'll eventually dry out. Um, you do want to give them enough room to dig. When this one gets older, he'll have a nice big enclosure to dig in. Or she. Hopefully it's a she. Anyway, I'm Mira, the Bluefoot Baboon. Mm.